Hey everyone, welcome back to another Dice Throne Adventures as we do another portal crawl for the tabletop simulator of Dice Throne Adventures. Last time I did the first playthrough with the Moon Elf. I thought uh, the Moon Elf would be a really good choice first time through normal difficulty. Uh, nothing too crazy. Uh, a couple things that I did mess up on with that initial video first time ever playing it was uh, a couple times I rolled the incorrect amount of dice for the de defensive roll for the minions. And then probably the biggest thing that still irks me to this day still is uh, I did not fight the level four minion. Uh, I got to the end of the portal crawl and didn't realize I had to actually flip that one over and fight the level four minion. So here we are. Uh, I asked also at the end of the video which hero you'd want to see next. I had uh, one person ask for either the pyromancer or the ninja. Get some cat hair off of me. I've got uh, this wonderful guy with me. They have this is Bates. Hi, Bates. All right, uh, and we are going to do the pyromancer. So we're going to set this uh, pyromancer up. Um, I'm actually pretty excited to see how she plays solo. Um, I actually have not. Let's see. Oh, here it is. They actually changed this here a little bit. So I have not got on this since they've updated this. So we'll see if they make any changes as well. Um, I don't anticipate too many changes overall, um, but we will get our, right into it. So last time we did this portal crawl right here, um, but we are not going to do that one. We are actually going to do this one. So we will, whoop, I brought a uh, chess piece with me somehow. All of them, apparently. So we'll just grab those and bring those up here. Uh, last time, I um, I just want to kind of set up again um, and talk to y'all a little bit while I set this up. If I can do both, we'll see if that is possible. Um, I'm going to flip all of these or randomize these as well. And I'm going to make sure to do the level four minion. Um, as I hear, that's kind of important to do when you do a portal crawl. So we need three of these. And one right there. Um, you haven't seen already, the games are on the ships. Um, there was an update on the Kickstarter about that and the names of the ship and that you can actually track them. Um, I actually am not. I'm trying to get surprised best I can um, with when that's actually gonna be here because uh, it's out of their hands. It's out of everyone's hands to the point of when they get here, they get here. Um, I can't wish it any faster than what they can actually do it in. Um, so that's just kind of my philosophy on it. So until then, I'm going to continue to play Dice from Adventures on the tabletop uh, because it's a whole lot of fun and you really get a good idea of what to look for and what to do once you actually put it on your table. Um, I'm actually excited to try some stuff out. Um, something that I have thought of the last couple of days is First Strike and the Pyromancer. Because I was getting prepared to do the Pyromancer and what I'm kind of looking forward to do for her. And I think First Strike is actually a good thing for her. The reason why is because I'm first, I need to make sure I keep on building this while I talk, sorry. Um, first strike, uh, the minion will get a turn first and then it'll be her turn. So she'll have to take some damage for the first turn. Not a horrible thing. You may have some mitigating factors, maybe not this time, uh, for that one time that that happens or two times that happens for first strike, uh, to mitigate some of the damage and then you deal some damage back. Uh, so the minion will be at a lesser health when it's your turn to go. Now let's say you go and you do a combustion, pyroblast, fireball, what have you, and you leave them just a little damage left. That's all you do is a little damage left, and then it's next turn again. Well, they get to go, and let's say they do some order attack, hopefully it's holding out a whole lot of damage, and... Um, you can then use your defensive roll and kill them or defeat them. Um, I shouldn't say kill, uh, defeat. And then that way, when it's your turn to go, 
you can build up maybe your fire masteries. Maybe you're all out of your fire masteries and you need a turn to get your burning soul or something like that to prep for the next minion that comes out. Um, it's going to be an interesting idea uh, when that time happens and uh, see if it works. I'm interested to see if that works or not. Let's see, we need a green chest right over here. My chest right on the bottom right. And then we need another blue one. I do like the idea of putting your different tokens in the different spots of your tiles just to make sure that you do have everything that you're supposed to have for each tile. Uh, so green right there, we are starting there. We are gonna randomize our deck. And I don't think we need this anymore. However, we need to get our 15 gold. So let's put this, I'm gonna put this stuff, and eh, we'll just leave it right over here. It's not a horrible thing. 15 gold. We will grab our five dice for the minions. And we'll put it right here. We'll have our loot die right over there. We'll throw that one away, throw that one away. Um, I don't think we want these dice in our area either. So that way it's a clean grab over there if we want to. Uh, let's see, what is that? Oh, so this is pretty cool. So these are some of the health dials for the different bosses or minions. Um, actually, it looks like bosses. So, ho oh, ho, look at that. That is the Mad King right there. And it looks like there's a, a Drake and some skeletal warrior behind him. Uh, maybe a samurai, possibly. That's really cool. I like that a lot. Uh, and then over here, we have the Fallen Monk health dial. Uh, it looks like uh, it's a, uh, what is, it's a liz the Lizard Crocodile, I think that's a, a level one minion. And then that, I think, is a three. I could be wrong on that, though. And then here we have the Fallen Gunslinger uh, with some other minions as well. And then we have the combat points four minions if need be um, and then the fallen boss uh, so that is awesome uh, we are also going to do better in difficulty so we are going to be starting out at 25 health oh boy so we'll go down to 25 uh, that's going to be pretty interesting if we don't get some defensive help uh, and do a lot of big attacks early. We're going to be hurting. The salves are going to be pretty hard to come by. How many salves do we get? I think it's three, right? Just show you two. Two salves. Okay. One right there. One right there. Um, I think that is it. We will bring this over. I did like having that right next to us. Okay, um, it's been a minute since I've actually played Action Adventures. I think the last time I played was our last uh, video of it. And then let's just, we just need to get the combat dial for the minions. Let's go ahead and grab, let's grab this one. I like the health dial for that one. That's pretty awesome. So we'll grab the health right there. Uh, combat points, I guess if we need it for any reason, we can. And we'll throw that down below all right and then we have our two right there and i think that's it we'll draw our four cards and okay so this is good we got burning soul right away uh that's gonna help out a whole lot with because we are going to want our burning souls pyroblast three i may be selling that because i like the pyroblast two better um but if we have the extra cp we may do that, but it's 3 CP, so that might be a, a, a quick sell for us. Uh, Infernal Fusion, that's going to be our promo card. And then twice as well, it's going to be very helpful as well in terms of making sure we get what we need. Uh, Pyromancer is a little difficult. Um, complexity level is a little higher up there, 
Uh, I think she's a three unless they change that with the reroll, as I don't think anyone knows what the actual boards or cards look like for the rerolled season one characters. So it'll be interesting to see that. Um, other than that, I think we're ready to start. Um, let's get right into it. I'm pretty excited, actually. Yeah, okay. We'll flip that over, okay. So I, was, I was wondering to see if they had another fallen character, but it's just the, just the barbarian, so. Alrighty, so, looking at this board, uh, we obviously have to go over here to the left. Uh, so we're gonna get that salve, we'll go over here, probably be first, and then we will head back down, and then we'll hit this one. Probably go back up and hit this one, and then determine from there whether or not we wanna go after this level two, with a two chest, level two with one chest, level three with the two chest, but with the salve, I can see us picking up that uh, tile because even if we have to spend a salve, we'll get a salve back, and then we'll get another salve for the level four minion. Uh, so let's go ahead and go after the two and see what happens here. So it's the Thorn Road um, on a die. Roll one or two, discard two positive status effects, no big deal. Three, four, gain barb, fine, and entangled. That's awful. Five, six, gain two. So we're looking for not a three, four. So let's figure out that was not my roll, even though it's, it was a five. So let's roll. Uh, and it's a three. That is an unfortunate start to our progress here. So we need to get barbed vine and an entanglement okay um, I'm just making sure yeah we'll grab these king's hands just in case we need them later for the minions we'll put them right over here alrighty so uh, barbed vine that is that's it's, it's cost you an extra CP to roll after the first one I think uh, here it is. Negative status effect. A player afflicted with this token receives a damage for each roll attempt beyond the first during the offensive roll, up to a maximum of two damage per turn. Uh, this token is removed, and then this damage is applied at the conclusion of the roll phase. So, stack limit of one. And then we have entanglement. So, alrighty. Uh, and then we have the blue minion. And let's find out who we're going up against here. What's, oh, that's my die over there. Ah. Alrighty, so, no time like the present to uh, test my uh, theory. We have first strike. He does have four CP um, and nine health. So let's find out what happens here. He needs a roll objective of uh, the threes. So he is going to be rolling these two and that one. Uh oh, and he gets one more roll. That's five. Okay, so he only deals, <laughs> he only, he deals seven damage. He does not have three of a kind. So he's going to be dealing seven defendable damage. Alrighty, so let's see. I roll, it looks like I roll all five dice. Yeah, it's five dice here. Alrighty, looking for, whoops, I'm on now. Five dice, five good ones here. Not great. Uh, I get one fire mastery. And that's just gonna cool off. And then Dealing one back to him. And then we are taking seven. Five, six, seven. Wow. Okay. Uh, not great to start with. All right. So it's our turn to go. Uh, one CP. We gain a card. Vegas, baby. We will definitely do that. Roll. That's a three. So we gain two more CP. 
uh, we will also, uh, we, we cool off our fire mastery. Uh, Infernal Infusion, looking for a six. Oh, we got the six. Um, gain max, max fire mastery, which our maximum is five. So one, two, three, four, five. All right, so that's exactly what we wanted right there. That is fantastic. Um, so we can start, let's see, oh no. We want to spend a CP for three. I want to spend the CP for Burning Soul too. But it goes over here, not in my discard. Uh, so now if we get three of the Fiery Souls, we inflict Burn as well. Four of them, uh, increase Fire Mastery stack by one. Um, and along as gaining fire masteries and then dealing collateral for each fiery soul we roll. Alrighty, so now we roll. <laughs> okay, so um, let's do this. Um, I'm not going to use my twice as wild on this and I'm not going to roll any more on this. The reason why is I have the barbed vine and entanglement with the barbed vine. I'm going to be taking the damage um, for each additional roll I take. Uh, this token removed. So, alrighty. So we at the end of the roll phase. So we can just delete, delete that, and we are going to be gaining two fire mastery. We are at our stack limit, so we can't gain it anymore. We do inflict stun right there. And, oops, I got something. Sticky note. Uh, deal one undefendable damage per fire mastery token we have. We have five, so that is going to be five damage. Additionally, deal two collateral damage to all opponents. Includes the panther. Uh, so we are actually dealing seven undefendable damage. Five, six, seven. So, if we had, um, if we didn't stun it, what would happen is um, he would go deal us more damage, more than likely defeat him on our defensive roll, and then we would get a defense, uh, our entire offensive roll phase still. Um, I got, wow, white all over me. So, black shirt. <laughs> black shirt was not a great idea. Sorry about that. Um, but he is stunned, so we will get another offensive roll phase. And now we uh, don't have to worry about entanglement and we don't have to worry about Barb Divine uh, because uh, at the conclusion of the roll phase, which we just had, they are removed. So that's why we don't get them this time. Alrighty, so we have uh, I'm looking for something undefendable, and unfortunately, let's see, one, two, three, four, uh, I could do the small straight, the reason why is because, uh, I want to stay away from his defensive roll best I can, um, I'm going to roll again. The reason why is because even on fireballs, which are 50% chance, or flames, I'm sorry, um, I can still defeat him. There it is right there. So that's our second roll. We do get one more roll. Okay, so uh, we have two fire burning souls. So on two, uh, we deal one collateral damage to all opponents. And for those that aren't familiar with collateral. Uh, I'm gonna throw, bring it over here, aren't I? Uh, forgive me for my lack of proper uh, movement here. All right, there we go. I had to load. But I just wanna show the different damage kind of charts here. So this is a fantastic chart to go by and you should probably always have it with you or around you when you play as a quick reference, uh, but for collateral damage, it's not defendable. You can't avoid it, uh, but it's not enhanceable either. 
and uh, there are special targeting rules with it. So, um, let's see, special targeting rules. The player to receive the damage is specified in the description. Uh, no targeting phase is necessary to determine who will receive the damage. So, uh, which collateral here uh, is a special undefendable damage. Um, does not qualify as an attack since it is not directly target. Uh, it's just a collateral damage. The flames are going everywhere. Uh, when dealt to multiple players of the same team at the same time, reduce the health die by the combined total. So that is how we are able to defeat the Dark Panther here. And as I get that here, so we're dealing two collateral uh, for our two, which will defeat them. Just like that. And we will put our defeated minions right there. And we will roll for, it looks like a, it is a blue loot chest. So, rolling. Looking for 20, 13 blue. It's going to be two gold. Very nice. All right. Uh, so, that is it. For me, I guess I still had a second main phase. Not a big deal on that. Uh, we will continue on and grab this salve token um, and continue. Flip. Lonely Shrine. I love the art on this. Um, Manny and anyone else uh, that worked on the art, fantastic job. Uh, you may play an ability upgrade card from your hand that costs two or less for free. That is unfortunate, as Pyroblast is a three CP. So we don't get to do that, uh, but we do go against the green minion. So we'll flip it. And Satire, he will have one CP and nine health. And he is gonna be going for this objective. Uh, it's pretty difficult, but we'll see what he can do. He will entangle us as well. Uh, so it's our turn to go first. We will lose a fire mastery during our upkeep phase. We will gain a CP and one card. And there's our hot streak too. So unfortunately, uh, we did not have this last time. Uh, this is not an awful one to have, inflicting burn, uh, dealing that additional damage, because maybe you deal, like for Satire, we'll deal eight, but we're looking for that ninth one, that burn will be the ninth one. Uh, so I think dealing uh, the two CP here for Hot Streak will be good, and then we still leave the three CP left over for Twice as Wild. Alrighty, and we will start rolling. So we have four, five, six. We do have a little bit of everything, which is combustion. Uh, we would gain max fire mass or gain one fire mastery, which is our maximum, and then removing up to four and dealing that much in undefendable damage. Well, I would definitely say let's go ahead and do this. Uh, the reason why is because his defensive roll, he rolls two, he could knock us down and prevent damage. But if we uh, gain one, uh, this is what we're doing, by the way, sorry, uh, gain one, and then we are going to remove three of these, one, two, three, and then dealing three undefendable damage per token, three times three is nine, nine will defeat them. And just like that, Satire is uh, defeated. And we will be able to roll right here a green loot chest. Three, it'll be a modifier. A plus two modifier. All right, so that, that's always good to have two. That additional damage is always nice. Uh, main phase two, nothing else. So we'll continue on. So fantastic right there. So this is our first shard token. Just as a reminder, the shard tokens are important for yourselves as you, when you gain more tokens, the health that you gain from using the salve increases by one. So uh, just as a reminder, it is right here in case you forget. 
and we will flip it over. All right, so Ivory Plains, we do gain one gold, and then we gain Backstrike and Wither. And then we'll get a minion as well. Before we do that, I'm gonna put the weather backstrike on me so I don't forget. And let's figure out what happens here. All right, here's a lizard man, which can be found right there, lizard man. All right. Uh, he has 15 health and then has two CP. And he's going to try to chomp us, but he does not have first strike. Defensive roll, he's going to be dealing damage. So we will go first here. Uh, we'll get rid of a fire mastery for our cooling down. And then we'll gain our CP and our card. A uh, soul wild. So we are not going to use that pyroblast right now. Um, it is pretty good. It's, it's, it's all right. Six damage, six damage. You're rolling two dice instead of one. And uh, you, you're doing a, a, a modifier on your flames instead of on. But I'd rather have it for the twice as wild and the so wild. So we will continue on here and roll. Alrighty, so one, one, two, five, six. Not fantastic by any means, but we do have Pyroblast right out of the gate. And we do have a plus two modifier. Huh. Uh, we're not close to Scorch either. Uh, Scorch wouldn't be too bad to have either just because you gain from some fire masteries, burning, dealing damage. That's really nice overall, actually. I really like that upgrade. Um... We're close to combustion as well. Let's go ahead and do the pyroblast. So we're gonna take this die. So we're dealing at least six damage. And we're gonna add another three, so it's nine damage. We're gonna add this modifier as well. So it's going to be 11 damage overall. Um, and then with wither, I always like to double check this stuff. Uh, reduce the damage by one. So instead of 11, it's 10. Uh, and it is persistent. Yes. So 11 damage going on the lizard man. He gets to roll one die. And he's going to be dealing two back. All right, so one, two, and then 10 damage to him. And then main phase two is nothing else. So it's his turn to go. So he will roll all five dice and see what happens. So one, all right, so he, he did get his roll objective, which is uh, dealing damage equal to the roll value and then inflict knockdown. Uh, so we will roll. Uh, so he's dealing four damage and knocking us down. Uh, so just so well, I'm going to put this right here so I don't forget it. Uh, but it is a defensive ability for us now. So we can roll all five dice. And looks like we will gain a fire mastery. We'll dealing two damage. One, two, and then uh, we will do backstrike as well. So uh, roll one die and then deal half of, half of it as damage. Of course. So we're just going to deal one more damage to him. Uh, hoping for that. I mean, I could so wild that and that could kill him. But I'm going to kill him either way because of fireball. Uh, so not a, not a horrible thing here, uh, but I do need to get my knockdown. So, all right, and then I need to take my four. So that's my reminder. Two, three, four. All right. So now it's my turn to go here. One. 
Uh, ah, there's our defensive upgrade right there. Uh, so that's going to be crucial for us as well because we are going to be doing a lot of defensive rolling. So that will be big. Um, I think, like I said, I'm going to be selling this Pyroblast 3 for a CP spending 2 for knockdown. And I'm going to keep these at right now. Main Phase 2, I'll upgrade the Molten Armor, but just as a... Uh, just in case. Alright, so... I think I'm going to keep this 5 again. The reason why is because I'm going to go for this Burning Soul. Uh, the reason the reason why I'm going for the Burning or burning Soul is... Um, the collateral damage. Alrighty, so... Three, four, five, six. We do have a small straight. Um, I really don't want to use up a soul wild if I don't have to. And then I'm gaining I'm gaining some fire masteries here. So I can roll one more time. I'm gonna roll this one. That's a six. Um, so let's just go ahead and do the hot streak, small straight. Do, uh, oh, I need to lose one. I'm sorry. I need to lose one for uh, cooling down. So I gain it back. Get another one back, um, then deal six damage plus one per fire mastery, which is three, so it's going to be nine damage. He's going to be rolling one die. Ugh. Uh, that's saving me. I know, I'm gonna I'm gonna take the two damage. It's not a whole lot compared to like a five, six, seven damage, um, and then he is defeated. Whoops, I, I took the health and not him. Alrighty, so we get this. 14 on green, which is one. Okay. Um, main phase two, uh, spending three. One, two, three. For that molten armor three. Uh, pretty excited about that one. That should be pretty good. So, alrighty, uh, now we'll continue up to here, and now we have our second shard, and Thorn Bush, so, Thorn Road to Thorn Bush, uh, roll a die, so let's figure out what this die is going to be, and then we'll figure it out, so rolling, the four, ugh, that barbed vine, um, and I don't have any CP. I only have one CP. So I'm, I'm gaining another barbed vine. So now we can see the importance of having some CP for maybe a soul wild. Well, I take that back. I could not use soul wild because it's not during a uh, offensive roll phase or a roll phase. It would have to be an instant action is my understanding on that. So you cannot use the soul wild because it's not in the right... Uh, timing. Alrighty. And then we will get our green minion. Flip him. Shadow Cat. Alright, so it's another first strike. And 2 CP, 9 health. I'm going for the low numbers. Alrighty, so 1. Two. All right, this is good. Can we get just that? Okay, so it could have been worse. Uh, so on four, it's five damage, not three of a kind, so don't worry about that. So five defendable damage, which is big because we just upgraded this. All right, so uh, looks like we inflict burn because of the flame and the blaze so burn the kitty and um, see looks like we're dealing damage for each flame and meteor so that's going to be two damage so two damage on that and then 
gaining a fire mastery for each meteor and each burning soul or fiery soul. They changed it, fiery soul. Uh, I think so. So one, two, three. Uh, we call him max out with T. All right. So not too bad for a defensive roll right there. Uh, we did need to still take our damage though of five. Ouch. All right. So it's our turn to go here. One, one, get rid of one of these fire masteries for cooling down. So now we have a tippet. So that would be something that we could have used up here for the tile. Um, I think we'll go ahead and start rolling. We definitely only want to do the one roll uh, because of the barbed vine. All right, so we got one, two, three. I think if we do the large straight, that's gonna, let's go ahead and tip this to a four. So now we have one, two, three, four, five. And large straight gain two fire masteries. We don't need to be able to gain one. And then deal four damage plus two damage per fire mastery. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 14 damage. Wither makes it 13 damage. Um, and then they will still get a defensive roll here. Okay, it does not bleed, which is good, uh, but it will perish. All right, so we got another green chest here. 20. We got a rare. Awesome. Let me sh uh, shuffle these real quick. And we get one off. Let's see. Rares go right here. Okay. Uh, so pretty cool on that. Uh, barbed vine goes away. And that is it. So the question is now, do we want to use a salve, I think we do. The reason why is we're going down here, never know when we might get hit with that five or six and uh, puts us down. So we will use a salve, uh, which is going to be three, four, five health. So plus five. All right, so we're at 10, I'm pretty good with that. And let's go ahead and work down here. As we still we gotta get that other shard. So caves, we gain one gold. We gain parasite, which is not great either. And we'll get the green minion. Before we see what it is, let's look at parasite just as a refresher. Um, Negative status effect during their upkeep phase. If a player inflicted with this token has a parasite, a positive status effect, they receive a damage. Uh, the fire mastery tokens, I believe, are a positive status effect. Uh, additionally, if they spend a positive status effect to successfully prevent or avoid damage, remove parasite and receive three damage as an isolated source of undefendable damage. Um, it should say. Yeah, positive status effect, fire mastery right there. I wasn't sure if it's gonna be a unique one or not, uh, but it is a positive. So uh, that is really unfortunate. I really need to get a, a double up, triple up, trying to get a removing status effects. Um, so let's go ahead and look. Goblin Enchanter. I don't really recall seeing this one earlier, so this is a new one for me. Um, 10 and one. And Sorrel, and Sorrel, uh, four undefendable damage. Your opponent discards one randomly. Yikes. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and start rolling. So we do have not a great, oh, they, they have it. He got it off of his first roll. Wow. Alrighty. So. Four, undefendable, nothing I can do about that. Uh, so, two, three, four. And then we have to get rid of one random. So, uh, there. Whoops. 
Oh, come on. There. We're going to flip them. Randomize it. And the top one to go to the discard. Uh, I was actually hoping to get rid of the twice as wild, to be honest with you. Um, the reason why is because it's cheaper. So, all right. Our turn to go. Getting paid, gain two, uh, gain two CP. So now we have enough to play uh, twice as wild. And gotta be honest, uh, looking for an ultimate here or maybe combustion. Um, well, we take a damage for the parasite. Uh, and getting rid of this guy quick. This is a tough one, especially at a, a, a green minion here. Alrighty. Uh, so we did get Pyroblast, um, keeping the four, keeping the six. Let's go ahead and uh, so we do have Scorch, which I really don't mind at all. Uh, I really don't want him to roll another one, but I can make him whiff with the twice as wild. And I can burn him. Man, this is a uh, this is a little tough. Pyro Pyromancer is definitely a tough one here. Um, but I, I think I really need to go for a uh, a five. The so last one here. Okay. I think I go with the twice as wild on this. Spending the three. Making this a six. A six. And um, the wither is not going to take effect because it's an ultimate ability. Um, so nothing can alter an ultimate. So, uh, But you can. As well, let's just look over here just so everyone can see. You can enhance it, only thing you can do is enhance it. So, alrighty, that's kind of the running joke. Dice Throne is uh, can you do this with an ultimate? Do that with the ultimate? The answer is you can modify the dice once the attack is happening. You cannot do anything as the defender, you just you just gotta take it. So, alrighty. So, um, gain three fire mastery. We'll gain the one. Um, inflict knockdown. Inflict burn. Deal twelve damage. Um, we're not gonna do all the status effect stuff uh, because he is defeated. So, um, unfortunate that I had to use that uh, on a green minion. And it's a two, so it's going to be a plus one modifier. But I just felt that that was a pretty nasty dude right there. So um, that's it for me. So now it's the next round. We'll go over here. And it's a solar flare. Let you all check it out. And gain another gold. So we're at 21 now. Uh, discard one positive status effect. Gain blind. Uh, let's go ahead and discard a fire mastery. Um, as those are pretty easy to get back. And then we will gain a blind. Which, uh, if you're not familiar with it, if you roll a one or a two, you automatically, you whiff your entire attack. Nothing happens. So, um, and then, Yeah. One or two offensive roll fails, has no effect of any kind, so not even status effect stuff happens. Alrighty, and then we go after the green minion. There's three left after this one. Uh, three cards left, I should say. Alright, Wandering Ronin. So it's another first strike. Oh, I needed, I was going to use a salve. Oh boy, oh boy. Um, I was going to use the south 
on this because I had five health, and if I was going to hit the five, I was going to add the five again. So uh, that's my fault on that. Uh, so slice and dice. Alrighty, let's see what this guy can do. So. Okay, last roll. Ow. Alrighty, uh, four of a kind. He did not. He has three of a kind. But he is going to deal six damage on me. So I do get a roll. Alrighty, so what do we have here? Yeah, I go through quite a bit here. We gain a fire mastery, two fire masteries. Uh, stack limit is five, so we're up to that already. Um, we do not inflict burn, as we don't have the blaze. And then we're going to deal one, two, three, four damage on him. One, two, three, four. And the wither is only based on the offensive roll phase, so that's not going to affect, in fact, the uh, defensive roll phase. Alrighty, um, but we still take our six. Alrighty, so it's our turn to go. So let's see what we can do here. Um, we do take a damage for Parasite. Man, that guy is nasty. Uh, for player inflicted with a token has phase, receive a damage. Prevent or avoid damage, remove pairs. So, I wish it said uh, persistent or something like that. I know it's kind of a weird one. Um, persistent or something, uh, just to clarify that maybe. Uh, but we did uh, draw a meteorite too. Uh, we can go for it. The reason why is because it, it gives us stun. We've been rolling a couple sixes. Um, and if we can get that and stun them, that would be good. It does bring our CP down to zero. Uh, we're looking for six damage here. Um, which our Scorch does. But, one, two, two, let's roll this one. Looking for, okay, we have Pyroblast. Uh... We're dealing six already. Oh, I keep on forgetting. I apologize. Uh, Got to get rid of Fire Mastery beginning of the phase. Um, half the value is damage. Yikes. So if he rolls a uh, five or six, he kills us. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Okay. And we are blinded. We only have one roll left. Oh. I think I'm going to... I shouldn't have rolled that blaze. I'm going to roll these four. The reason why I'm, I, I'm searching for a combustion, I'm searching for a burning soul, searching for something for undefendable damage right now. I'll take it. <laughs> Alrighty. So, uh, two, three, four, five, six. We have a large straight. We have combustion. Um, we are going to do combustion. However, uh, however, um, we need to roll for blind. So for blind, uh, we'll get rid of it first. We need to roll a die. If it's a one or two, uh, nothing happens. Ugh. Okay, so nothing happens of anything. Uh, we were blinded by our own fire, could not see, and he escapes. So uh, nothing happens of any kind, so we don't get the fire mastery or anything. Um, it is his turn to go. So um, we'll roll here. Uh, that's one, two, whoops. Um, Roll. Okay, and last roll. 
is a five. So he's, he is going to be dealing six more damage to us. Uh, let's see. We get our defensive roll phase here. Alrighty, so we are going to burn him. Burn the samurai. We gain a fire mastery. And we are going to be dealing two damage back to him. And we are going to be taking six. Um, now, this is something interesting. Players choose to spend salve tokens to heal wounds taken during battle or revive fallen teammates. The amount of heal indicated bottom of each scenario cells may only be used before you move, before battle begins, or before your upkeep phase when engaged in battle. This token may not be transferred or removed by any means. So what I should have done, uh, it's a learning lesson definitely, is during my turn upkeep phase, I should have used a salve token. Um, can I uh, be revived as a solo player? That is my question now. Um, optional, you may choose to spend salves to heal six on your team's shared health dial. Oh, that's, I'm sorry, that's boss battle. I apologize. Spend cells, page seven, one more. We'll find it here. You may choose to spend any number of cells to heal yourself uh, before you move, before the battle begins, before your upkeep phase. Uh, cells are unique, uh, cannot be removed or transferred. Cells are also spent to revive fallen teammates. The one health do not, may, may not be used to revive yourself. So that is very crucial. Um, it's learning experience, definitely. Um, should have used that, apparently. Uh, but with that, the Pyromancer does fall to the Wandering Ronin. Uh, right here, we were one shard short. And uh, two minions left, plus a level four minion. Um, on veteran difficulty. So definitely a little bit harder, uh, a lot more challenging, but also pretty fun too to try to figure out how to um, go about doing it. I thought we were going really strong first with uh, combustion, going with burning soul, doing the collateral damage, undefendable damage, so that they did not have the ability to do a defensive roll to inflict the fleet, bleeds, poisons, damage, what have you. Um, the minion drilled pretty well overall, none of them whiffed. Um, I didn't feel like I needed to use the my modifiers to make them whiff. Um, however, I think that would probably be a change I would make for next time. Um, as I was able to roll pretty well as well. And I did force a ultimate with the twice as wild. Where if I had a meteorite too, I might have not needed to do that but uh, this goblin enchanter was pretty pretty gnarly of one uh, especially to discard a random one uh, so now let's see what to do next here uh, if we lose uh, we draw three commons and one rare uh, we would record the loss on the record uh, score sheet uh, increase the starting cells by three and then repeat the scenario so let's just see what we would have had if uh, one, two, three, and then one. So let's let's find out, shall we? So I believe we can still go to the market um, and everything uh, since we're doing this. So double up, uh, draw two cards for zero CP. That's pretty nice. Uh, helping hand two. Uh, one more time in Transference 3. Uh, that is fantastic. Um, we do also uh, have 21 health. Because we had 21, that does go up to 25. And we did have our other rare card with us. So, whoops. Let's see, I'm going to try to get in there. 
So we can spend 10 to uh, identify this card. Um, otherwise, it's 10 for the commons, 15 for this rare. And what we can do is go after this again. And with the Pyromancer, with the same Portal Crawl, Veteran Difficulty, with these cards and see what kind of difference that makes next time. Um, and see if we can actually bypass or get through this same crawl next time. So let me make sure I write this stuff down for us. Uh, actually, um, I'm gonna leave it up to y'all, what y'all think, what to do. Um, if you want me to reveal or identify this rare card, which it will be worth 10, um, so, uh, I will look after it's all said and done to see what it is so that if you do decide to identify it, um, you will, will be able to get it. And then if it's one of these other ones, um, uh, that works too. So, uh, rare, um, and then we have helping hand two, double up two. Uh, one more time, too. And transference three. All right, so with 25 gold. So let me know down in the comments below what you think I should grab. Uh, once again, here's what they look like again. I'm really excited to see what you all decide why I should pick up, not pick up. Um, I think that my biggest issue uh, with the Pyromancer, or my biggest downfall, I should say, not really an issue, just a downfall, uh, was getting rid of the negative status effects for the Pyromancer. Um, I don't think I really saw any uh, that I can think of. Um, yeah, uh, no status effects at all. So that was the biggest thing about the Pyromancer. Uh, but other than that, that was a lot of fun. Uh, stay tuned for next time when we go back at it with the uh, Pyromancer for the veteran difficulty of the Porter Crawl. If you haven't already, go check out the video for the Tactician versus the Cursed Pirate over on our uh, other video list. And uh, we are going through a tournament on that. It was a, a pretty exciting game last time. It went down to the wire last turn last card played it was fantastic a whole lot of fun uh, so stay tuned for that so uh, until then we'll see you next time and take care